We're at Atherton High School, and this morning we listened to the Violins of Hope program. When we talk usually about the Holocaust, we talk about numbers that nobody understands. But when you break it down to individual stories and people, and you can tell where they were and when, it makes it a little bit easier to understand. We have about 82 instruments today, including one viola and one cello. Some of them we have a very detailed history, some unfortunately we don't, because we don't have a testimony and we don't have the owners to say what happened and where, we can't really know. But after the war, when people heard about all the atrocities the Nazis did, it was a very strong band in Israel on everything German. People forget history, and if they forget history, they forget the mistakes done in history. And if they forget the mistakes, they might do the mistakes again. It was very touching, you know, I've taken a couple classes on this subject and music's always been a big part of my life, so hearing some of the um, music that was in it was just very, I just felt in the music. All of the stories, I believe, need to be told, and it's so hard to get all of them. But um, it's, it's hard to sort of put it into words on how important those small, small stories are. Music brought hope to people. Music brought sorrow because some of them had to play during executions. Music saved their lives, and music also tortured them. I hope they learn that uh, there are lots of ways to solve a conflict. And the problem is that uh, we all know where hate starts, but we never know where it ends.